Hi, I'm Alex Sacco with the Lincoln Electric Welding School, and this is a master class for Arc Magazine. And today, we're going to be talking about silicon bronze filler metal with the gas tungsten arc welding process. The biggest advantage is you do not have to melt the base metal in order to get the silicon bronze filler to wash out. So for an artistic purpose, with this eagle that we've started to weld on, you can lay down a TIG weld with a gold appearance just to give it an aesthetic look. That may be an advantage if you've never used it that before. There is another advantage that you could use silicon bronze filler, which would be with thinner sheet metal. Uh, again, since you're not melting the base metal, you can run a higher current and you can move quicker, which means you'll put less heat into the material and eliminate some of the distortion problems you could have with some really, really thin stuff. And another advantage of silicon bronze would be on some sort of coated material. This is a galvanized coated sheet metal. For those of you that have tried to TIG weld galvanized sheet metal before, it doesn't work out too well. Your tungsten gets all gummed up and zinc, fume, and everything else. But with silicon bronze filler metals and not melting the base metal, we can eliminate some of that fume and get a half decent TIG weld on this if that's what we have to do. Today we're going to use a Lincoln Electric Square Wave TIG 200 gas tungsten arc welding power source. I have put a number 9 air-cooled torch on it. Our current will be in and around 70 to 90 amps, so I don't need uh, a bigger torch than a number 9 for what we're doing today. I've also added a gas lens to this number 9 torch with a 332 tungsten. Uh, the gas lens most people prefer sometimes you can kind of keep that gold color to this silicon bronze filler a little easier with a better gas coverage that a gas lens gives you. So as you can see here, what we've done is we've added some silicon bronze along the edges of this particular project. And just to give it a little, a little better appearance other than just being a, a stamped out piece of sheet metal gives it uh, some originality. So this is just an easy, simple project that you could do if you've got access to some silicon bronze for any type of project that you might want to do. Uh, it makes it stand out uh, a, little bit, a little bit better than just uh, regular good old sheet metal. Here's another application where silicon bronze can come in handy. You can see we have some thinner sheet metal here. It's not extremely thin, but it's a little on the thin side. Uh, we could use a 332 silicon bronze filler and turn your current up a little bit. I'm not going to be at 90 amps. Uh, and the, the reason for that is that I can move much, much quicker with the lower melting temperature of the silicon bronze filler. Uh, we, obviously, if I'm moving a lot faster, I can remove some of the heat input. I can reduce some of the distortion. And that's, those are all advantages for TIG welding something th as thin as this or thinner. So with this particular application, we were trying to move very, very quickly. Not necessary to go that fast, but it gives you a pretty good example of how we got a little bit of distortion here, but with no fixturing, no clamps, nothing else along those lines, we were still able to move very quickly, keep the distortion at a minimum, keep the heat input down, and with a little bit of practice, you guys could see a very, very big advantage when it comes to thinner materials with this application, we are not melting the base metal. So this is more of a TIG brazing application, not a TIG welding application. And the reason we're able to get away with that is because of lower melting temperature of the silicon bronze. So the big advantage here is, again, you're not melting base metal, you're only melting filler metal. On occasion, as welders, we're gonna run into some coated materials here and there. Uh, this particular example is a galvanized coated sheet metal and Part of the problem with trying to TIG weld galvanized or coated materials is that the fume will create all kind of issues with the arc and also on top of that screw up your tungsten. So this, is, this example that we're going to go through here is a standard ER70S-6 filler, uh, standard 332 tungsten torch setup and everything else so you can see the difference between a mild steel filler and a silicon bronze filler.
So with the zinc coating on this particular piece of sheet metal, this galvanized, it's pretty obvious to tell that we've got quite a bit of buildup on the plate. Uh, the tungsten has now been contaminated even after that short amount of welding. Uh, we've got some spatter issues and whatnot. So this is more than likely what you don't want to get involved in when it comes to a coated material. And if we look at this tungsten, even after that short amount of weld, we've got all kind of buildup on the end, the end of the tungsten, which doesn't do anything for our, as far as our arc goes, it's trying to focus everything. So even with a mild steel filler, uh, this is not the best choice when it comes to a coated material. The next example that we're gonna show you will be with a silicon bronze. And again, since we're not melting base metal, we can uh, eliminate some of the fume, uh, get rid of some of the uh, contaminants on the plate and get rid of a lot of the contaminants that we'll see on the tungsten. And we've jumped up to a 330 seconds silicon bronze filler. Now again, since we will be able to move a little bit quicker and not melt the base metal, we should see a difference in fume generation and we should be able to keep the tungsten to a point easier, which will help us focus the arc, which should get us a better result. So it's rather obvious to tell that the difference between melting the base metal with a standard 70S-6 filler and not melting the base metal with a silicon bronze filler. We still get some contamination on the plate, but nothing like we did with the, the standard mild steel filler. So for galvanized applications, if you would run into some coated materials where you have to TIG weld it or if that, that becomes something that you have to do, if it's not if, if strength is not the biggest concern, silicon bronze is a very, very good choice if you have to try to TIG weld these galvanized or coated materials. Even though uh, you give up some strength, this silicon bronze still has a 50,000 tensile strength in comparison to a 70,000 tensile strength with the mild steel. Uh, we still get a pretty decent uh, strong weld for this, this application. So we showed you guys three different applications where silicon bronze filler may come in handy. As we mentioned before, the tensile strength is a 50,000 tensile strength, which is lower than standard mild steel, but it also gives, still gives you a relatively strong weld. We showed you guys a artistic application where we added some color to an art project. We showed you some faster travel speeds with a thin sheet metal application. We also showed you a galvanized sheet metal application or a coated sheet metal application where you don't have to melt the base metal, you can get rid of some of the fume, still keep a point in your tungsten and still get a decent weld. If you have any other questions, www.lincolnelectric.com. I'm Alex Taco with Arc Magazine.